Line 235, contact approach 120.9. Uh, 779 Lima Bravo is on the uh, on F approach for runway 02. We've got the ARC approved and uh, Leon's going to click off the autopilot here and hand flight as we come in. I've been in some serious, serious rain before. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Sounds like the windshield's going to crackle right off. She's Yeah, it's pretty nasty. It's going to be quite interesting with winds at 33 knots for the ILS, so that'll be fun. Harry Towers at 779 Lima Bravo, it's on the east ramp for a runway 02 departure. Sirius 779 Lima Bravo, my entire taxi runway 2 at Echo. Thanks for runway 2 at Echo, uh, 9 Lima Bravo. Okay, very good. All right, hello fellow pilots and Cirrus pilots. Uh, Lawrence here with Maui Flight Academy, I'm here with Jan Ralph from Singapore. Uh, owns a Cirrus G6. We are doing the instrument rating. We're here on a beautiful day in uh, Maui. We're going to head to Honolulu. Uh, we'll be flying the ILS approach into Honolulu. And then later today we'll be also going into Kona. Southwest 872, make the left and right. Stay really shortly, traffic on a 5 mile 5. Short of 2,000, 833. Time for you touch left or not? Left or not, I can't Okay, so what Jan's going to do now, we engage the flight director. Um, he's hand flying it, but the flight director is uh, telling him where to go here. And you can see that the flight director is on altitude, full navigating BG, GPS steering. And uh, they're. Uh, Giving him a nice command to turn left to intercept the course. So you want to keep that yellow triangle inside the green bars. When the autopilot is on... Number 9, Lima Bravo, Mullock House, Timeter 3000. Air service is terminated, clock to your far and frequency change approved. And actually, before you go, do have traffic 11 o'clock, 5 miles eastbound, 2000. As altitude indicates 2000. I'm looking. Speed descending. Have a good day. Frequency change approved, uh, copy traffic. Uh, have a good day. Thank you, 9, Lima Bravo. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to be briefing the approach. So Jan's going to go from flight director to autopilot on. This reduces the workload so we can focus on briefing the approach. Uh, and we're going to use the HATMS HATMS uh, method, which uh, allows you to briefly and uh, get the most efficient information out of the approach. And uh, oh, we're going to go through that now on the MFD. Go to the chart page. Okay, so let's use the Haddams method and uh, let's start with the letter H. H stands for heading. Heading 042. Okay, so and... Would you put the heading mode? Uh, well, we're going to get vectors later, so we'll, we'll adjust that, but we're just getting to know the approach first. All right, so the other thing we should do is make sure that we have the uh, ILS frequency loaded up. So put that up. one up to the active. Yep, there you go. Excellent. And you'll notice well, that the Honolulu VOR is going to 1.7 going to 2.5. So it looks like the Honolulu VOR is going to be part of this approach. So why don't you pull 428 um, down here. Okay, let's Excellent. Those guys. pop it up. Excellent. Now we need to tune uh, and identify, but we're too far away to do that. Okay, which is part of the exam. We'll be doing that later. All right, Actually, let's go to the yeah, next view. I have a right. All right, and so we know that ATIS is going to be 27.9. We're going to push that in a little bit later. As we get closer, we're still too far away. Okay. And uh, there's HCF approach, which is 18.3, tower 18.1. All right, and uh, we have the localizer dialed in. Final approach course is 042, 1,500 feet at Purley. So there's our A, A for altitude. It's right here. 1,500 is the start altitude, and 209 feet is our decision altitude. Okay. Decision altitude is the altitude above sea level, and 200 feet is the decision height, which is the uh, height above the threshold. There's the airport elevation at 13 feet. There's our missed approach. It's going to be climbed to 480, then a climbing right turn to 3000 on the heading of 220 degrees using the Honolulu VOR 171 radial. So not a bad idea now to use the bearing 
button there and put that on V-Lock 2. Pull the... Uh, yeah, so... Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right, so now your briefing strip is set up. Let's view uh, number three here. All right, and you can see the approach. There's Yepku, and then there's Pearly, and that's about a four and a half mile. Okay, and then there's the pictorial uh, for the missed approach. Climb straight ahead, 480, and then up to 3,000 feet, right turn 220. Okay, cool. very good. And then finally, view number four. All right, and 209 feet, half mile visibility, and uh, that looks good. So if you'd like, you can go back to view one if you want uh, to get the big picture. We're going to be coming in uh, this way out to Alana intersection. We'll request those vectors shortly, and we'll also be climbing to 2,000 feet shortly. Okay, so to help in not missing out commands, I've had Jan here uh, clear his keyboard, and that way he can write down heading and frequencies, because we'll be getting into not only class broadware space, now we're currently VFR, we'll be uh, requesting uh, the ILS approach, but uh, that's just for expedition purposes right now. And, uh, and then also if you can pull up as a backup the Honolulu ILS chart, and uh, you're currently uh, using what kind of software uh, for your iPad here? I've got the, uh, the Garmin. The Garmin. Which, which, uh, nine, Jan is from it? Singapore, so, and he flies a Cirrus over there. So, uh, uh, and the Garmin works pretty good there, or, or you like a, d a different one? Yeah, I think it works better than four flights, so, yeah. but I have Jepson as a backup as well. So, okay, very so. good, very nice. All right, so we're now starting to pick up the hey, Honolulu VOR on the right bearing indicator. Jan is reviewing the approach, uh, getting to know it. This is the first time he's ever going to be flying in the approach. First time he's going to be in Honolulu. Honolulu for you, VFR pilot, is, uh, is one of the, uh, I believe, the 13 or 14 uh, class Bravo uh, airports in the country. All right, so we're going to uh, program the Honolulu ATIS, and we are starting to pick it up here. There met the air update read valid. For information at Honolulu Automated Flight Service National Airport AI pit information tangle 1653 Zulu. Wind 050 at 7. Visibility 10. Two clouds at 2500. 3500 scattered. Temperature 28. 2.21. Two two Altimeter 2908. Landing and departing runway 4 and 8. Expect I let the visual approach. Lotto in the six. At last, taxiway Alpha and taxiway Bravo. Taxiway Tango closed except for S22 aircraft. South call and more tech. And that's something on the ATIS you don't hear very often, uh, that uh, certain taxiway is only for F-22 aircraft. Uh, Honolulu uh, Airport shares uh, not only the big international airlines, but we also have uh, Hickam Air Force Base, the Air National Guard, and there are, I believe, 14 F-22 fighters. So it wouldn't be uh, strange for Jan to be uh, flying a, uh, an approach uh, right next to an F-22. So <laughs> we'll have to take your hood off for that, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the chart page. Good. Now, let's down here, I want you to put the uh, tower and ground. So Honolulu Tower is 118.1. Picking up a little uh, mechanical turbulence off of the island of Molokai right now. Should we slow down its head or are we? Nah, we're fine. This is all right. This just feels bad. Feels uh, more, right. more extreme with the hood on. <laughs> okay, pop that up to the active. Alright, and then clear put in 121.9 for ground, and scroll down, okay, and, uh, alright, that's fine, so we're just going to wait here, call HCF approach, tell them you're level at 2000, and you would like the ILS runway 4 right Yankee approach. On the approach 779 Neva Bravo, we'd like the uh, ILS runway 4 right Yankee approach. 779 Neva Bravo, HF approach, fly heading 270, turn on a Bravo airspace, verify information, Tango. Uh, we have information, Tango at uh, uh, 270, heading. 779 Neva Bravo, object, let's see vectors for ILS Yankee runway 4 right. Vectors for the ILS 4 right Yankee. Vectors for the uh, ILS runway 4 right Yankee. Uh, All right, good. So heading 270, beautiful. 
All right, we're going to now hit the menu button. Okay, and uh, we're go. Oh, I'm sorry, not the menu button. Hit the procedure button, and we're going to activate vectors to final. Good. All right. So notice now that's set up for the ILS. We are on vectors. All the route has disappeared, except now the pearly intersection is, is showing up. All right. Okay. Okay. So we have so, two not an hour for the. Uh, fine. And we will uh, also, uh, as we get closer into the Bravo, then we'll go to the chart page. You can see our winds right now are 32 knots. Oh, lots of windy. All right. Okay. And notice also, confirm, B-Lock has been automatically uh, entered here. So that's good. And uh, go ahead and hit the message. All right. And we're okay on the field. Okay, so. All right, good. Acknowledged. Okay. Very nice. No four. There we go. That way, there we are. Okay, good. So, everything is set up. Vectors to final is activated. Harley is our final approach fix. We've been told to send to 1,500 feet. 241, we'll be on, on autopilot, which we'll be clicking off soon. And uh, our frequencies are set up properly. And, uh, good. Now, it does say DME or radar required, and DME is going to be off of the uh, GPS here. And so we can uh, use, if we go to hit the flight plan page here, right? We had it on traffic page. Now we're, we go to flight plan page. You can see we have the final approach picks, the missed approach points, okay? And there's your DME. So everything is there. Your whole toolbox is now set up. It could be quite interesting with winds at 33 knots for the ILS, so that'll be fun. You can see the white caps, We've got good strong wind today, and uh, here we are, we are uh, 9 miles from Purley. At about 5 miles from Purley, uh, or maybe a little bit less, she'll start turning us in. And, uh, we're going to have to start slowing down as we get closer to Pearly here. Our ground speed is 166 knots, so... And so, if you want, just to refresh our vertical profile for the altitudes, go back to view uh, 2. Thank you very much. In contact tower, 1181. All right, so it's 1500 Pearly. We've got that. 209 feet is going to be our decision altitude. Roger. Okay, very good. Okay. And uh, so you can go ahead if you want to... Uh, do whatever view you'd like at this point. You could do uh, the review the misproached for a procedure. Sure. Departure Hawaiian one four six passing one thousand five hundred. And we got a fuel check. Hawaiian one forty six ACS departure radar. No problem. We got plenty of fuel. Okay, you can go 3, back to chart page. One one zero one three thousand point one. That's okay. Just go to chart page. I'm at start your turn. Hawaiian 146, Alright, so why don't we go ahead, uh, put it on the next page, uh, and, uh, I'm sorry, uh, page uh, one. Well, yeah, okay. Now let's go ahead and click off the autopilot, because she's going to start giving us vectors here. Good. And we are six miles from Purley. I would say at about three miles from Purley. Let's go ahead and start slowing down to... Uh, Bravo, turn right, heading 310. So we're heading 310, not over. And just right on the queue, she started turning us. Okay, there's your heading. Roll out. Good. And now, if you want to engage the flight director, autopilot off, flight director off. Skyhawk 266, so we're finding to go heading and altitude. November okay. 269 Mike Echo, ACF Approach, Clock 1670. And actually we can see if we hit that. Okay, yeah. So, see what I did here? I hit Heading and Approach. Mike Echo, radar so now, you're on a Heading. Once it intercepts the localizer, it's going to disengage from Heading and uh, uh, connect to the Approach. So. Left base, 8 left. Okay. Uh, All right, let's start slowing down. Yeah. Two minutes to Pearl. Thirty uh, percent. Well, let's keep it about forty, fifty percent right now. We're still once we're like we're a little bit far from Pearly, so when we're about one mile. Turn right, heading three five zero. Turn right, heading three five zero. Not ever ever. 
Niner Mike Echo, contact Tara, 118.1. Have a great day. 18-1, Mike Echo, see ya. Neverman Honor Lima Bravo, 5 miles from Purley tonight, heading 020, maintain 1,500 till established from the localizer. Cleared ILS Yankee, runway 48 approach, maintain VFR conditions. Turn uh, right 020, uh, clear for the ILS runway uh, Yankee, Honor Bravo. Alright, so turn your heading knob to 020. There you go. Okay, and it's going to start, the localizer is going to start coming in here. Uh, 1500 feet. Okay. Alright, localizers alive. Kind of a headwind going on now, yeah? Yeah. So. All right, let's go to 30% power. Trim it out. Neverman Honor Lima Bravo, contact Tyra 118.1. Have a great day. Contact Tyra 118 Thank you. Have a good day. All right, calm two. Mark, good morning. Good, okay. Half laps. Good. Contact the tower. On the tower, uh, 9 Lima Bravo is established on the localizer. Seven nine one Barbara Honolulu Tower, runway four right, clear land, hold Troy eight left, landing south stop. Oh, sorry. Say again if you don't understand it. There is nine nine one Barbara runway four right, clear to land, hold Troy eight left, landing south stop. Uh, clear to land runway uh, uh, four right, four right, uh, nine hold the rover, hold short. Of eight left, eight left. Okay, you're a little, there you go. Good. Holding 1500 until you're established. The software has captured now 30% power. You're getting too slow. Here's 9 11 Bravo, traps will be holding on the crossing runway. Roger, 9 11 Bravo. Roger, 9 11 Bravo. That's captured. Glide slope captured. Start your descent now. Let's go to, uh, since we're a little slow, let's we'll just let it pick up a little bit of speed. But we'll probably want to go start your your veering off course a little bit back to the left. There you go. Small changes. On to six on Louis Tower, runway eight left, line up for traffic lighting, cross the runway. That's for Hawaiian uh, one five six, eight left, line up for I one two six, runway eight left, line up and wait. All right, eight left, line up for Hawaiian one five six. Okay, good. Hundred knots, beautiful. Go back on course. A little high. Back on course. Fernando Mike Echo, turn right at Golf Taxi via Bravo Thousand Delta. Thousand to go. Right, four left. Right at Golf Bravo Delta, hold your four left. Two, six, five, Mike Echo. Yeah, I'm really off course, yeah. yeah. Tower engineers out of the barracks from my eight right, barracks in service. Your name, Roger. A bit high. Yep. A bit of power production. Yeah, it would reduce power to about 20%. That'll help you capture the glide slope a little off course. To the right. I one two six runway eight left there for takeoff traffic on two mile final cross the runway. Eight left there for takeoff final one five six. There are seven seven eight Delta Sierra Honolulu Tower across my Florida Fox Shop for left line of the way traffic lighting cross the runway and departing cross. All right, cross four right line up and wait for left seven seven eight Delta Sierra. Seven eleven Bravo truck will be holding on the parallel runway. Roger. Roger, not even over. 500 to go. Bit fast. Five. 
500. All right. Looking great. 200 to go. Speed stabilized. Just add a touch of power because you're going to get too slow here in a second. Okay, you're drifting. You're drifting. 100 to go. Commissary Delta Sierra, Cockpit, Turbo, 717, depart runway 8 left, wind 079, or gust 21, runway 4 okay. left, quick takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 4 left, 778, Delta Sierra. Alright, and, alright, look outside. Okay, full flaps. Tower, good morning, Hawaii 134, coming up over to Beach, visual right left. I'm 126, contact departure. One, five, six, contact hey, departure. AOA and runway, that's all we need. AOA one, five, and six. runway. 134 Honolulu Tower, traffic will be holding Beautiful. on the crossing runway, runway uh, 8 blue. left. Clear to land, There's Blue Donut, Okay, clear Keep land, that right left. there, perfect one, power one, two, one. setting. Beautiful. Sorry, zero, nine, one, Check nine, AOA. Check AOA. Idle, idle. 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 Nine Lima Bravo, turn right at Delta and contact ground. Delta to ground, Nine Lima Bravo. Delta to ground, Nine Lima Bravo, thank you. All right. Nine Lima Bravo, cross Delta runway four here. left to four right at Delta contact ground. Cross four left, four right at Delta okay. contact ground. Two Go to ground, to Come, flip it up, good. We're at Delta to air service. Good morning, Honolulu ground at 779 Lima Bravo, off at Delta uh, to air, air service. service. November 779, Lima Bravo, Honolulu Ground, text via Charlie. Thanks via Charlie, thank you, 9 Lima Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get those in Malaysia. <laughs> or where you're allowed to land anyway. There you are. So we're going right over there. And there's UPS. Honolulu Ground, 269 Mike Echo, clear 4 right Delta, T hangers. That's not 269 Mike Echo, Honolulu Ground, text via Charlie. Text via Charlie, 269 Mike Echo. All the big boys and girls. Very cool. Now, what I like to do, just as a nice habit, is I, uh, so that when we get started earlier, I like to put uh, ATIS the line, on no, COM-1, uh, and then uh, clearance, so we're ready to go while everything boots up. And one five eight, set, down, so. runway 8 left, follow company, new departure from the Follow company at 19.1. By the way, this is a sea lane one. runway. Oh, cool. Is that cool? Where's the By that uh, white, uh, I don't know what that is. Is that the Bombardier? I don't know. We're going to go in front of that and make a right turn. Okay. Straight down? Yep. PK, is that Philippines or...